All right, that was one large can of our whole potatoes into our crock pot. I'm next coming in with a large block, about two pounds of our mild cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna pop that cheddar cheese right in between our potatoes for this delicious crock pot recipe. With our cheddar cheese and potatoes, I have some fresh cooked bacon because who doesn't love bacon, cheese, and potatoes? I love this recipe. It's one of my favorites to make as it starts to get nice and cool outside. You kind of just make it, set it, and forget it. That's the best thing about crock pots. You could also do a chorizo here. You could do a turkey bacon. You could even do like a faux bacon or like an impossible bacon. As long as it's nice and smoky and delicious, you'll get that kind of like salt that we need. So I'm just going in, just like so, right into our crock pot. Perfect. All right, I'm coming in with one diced white onion. You could also do a yellow onion here. You could also do a green onion. I'm just going in, because I love a good onion, making sure that's nice and compact into our beautiful crock pot. Of course, we have some garlic because I am a garlic girly. I like to keep them in whole cloves. I always find that they just get so delicious with the whole cloves. And now I'm gonna be coming in with my chicken broth. I like using the less sodium, especially with all that cheese and bacon and those canned potatoes. They do have quite a bit of sodium, so I'd like to do the half. So I'm going in with that entire container right into our crock pot, perfect. And now I'm gonna be coming in with additional dairy. So I have some heavy whipping cream. This is just gonna make this recipe so creamy and so delicious. Maybe going in with two cups right into our crock pot, just like so, perfect. And then I have one stick of butter because butter makes everything better. And then I'm gonna come in with some of my seasonings. I have, of course, some rosemary. Oh. I love the smell of rosemary. I love using rosemary like in the fall and winter seasons. It's just such a good little spice to keep on hand for just about anything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, poultry, red meat. In addition, I have some freeze dried thyme. Again, just like our rosemary, a great seasoning to have during like the winter and fall. It just warms up the house and it totally makes everything smell and taste absolutely delicious. All right, and then I have, of course, just some parsley, added greenery, added freshness. I'm gonna go in with that entire container of our parsley, just like so. Oh, perfect. This is gonna be super, super tasty. And then the last thing I'm gonna go in with is I just have some Kraft Parmesan cheese. And I just have a little bit left in this container, so I'm gonna go right in, just like so. It's gonna help thicken all of this up and just adds a nice little you know, parmesan -y taste. And now we are ready. Make sure we get all of our ingredients into our crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our lid for our crock pot. And we are gonna place this on low and we are just gonna let this ride until we are ready to give it a taste. Okay, it has been four hours. We are going to be turning off our crock pot and wait until you see this. I have been smelling this in my house for hours. It smells so delicious, cheesy, buttery, just mm, bacon, absolutely amazing. But remember, we have those whole potatoes in there, so I'm gonna come in with my immersion blender. Oh, we're just gonna start slow and start kind of mixing all of those in our crock pot, just like so. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this right now too, it smells so delicious. Our onions, our cheddar cheese. All right, let's get this all blended together. Okay, look at how our yummy potato, cheddar, and bacon soup is coming along. So I'm gonna put this, oh my gosh, if you could smell this with that garlic too. It smells absolutely delicious. We are ready to serve this up. I, of course, have my soup ladle and my big soup bowl. Oh, just one more stir, just for the camera. Oh, and look at how thick and delicious that looks. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get a big helping for myself. Ooh, that bacon, the garlic. Oh, the dogs are excited. They just got up out of their nap and are ready to try some, but unfortunately they cannot. All right, you could top this with like sour cream, chives, green onion, anything you want. Enjoy.